Today marks a moment in American history that still echoes all around the world. October 14th, 1964, while sitting in an Atlanta hospital bed, Dr. King wins the Nobel Peace Prize at just 35 years of age. He was, at that time, the youngest person to ever receive the honor. That following December, Dr. King and his wife Coretta flew to Norway for the award ceremony, and he didn't waste his opportunity to address world leaders, delivering a powerful speech about equality and humanity. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. And one more. I refuse to Dr. King also received more than $54,000 in prize that money that he donated nation. to the movement. And Must as you will recall, Atlanta business leaders had scheduled a, a party for him, a, a dinner, eyes. and it had slow ticket sales. Nobody wanted to show up for it. Robert Woodruff, who of course was the czar of Coca-Cola at the time, called all those leaders and said, guess what, you're going to be showing up, you're going to be buying a ticket. It was a sellout and a major success here in Atlanta in downtown way back then, a story that lives in perpetuity in the city.